Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Explained channel. In this session, I am going to discuss the working of hydraulic power steering system. If you are not subscribed, kindly subscribe Engineering Explained channel. If you are already subscribed, kindly share and comment. In this session, I am going to take the components of the hydraulic power steering system and its working and also we will see the its animated working and later we are going to see the what are its advantages disadvantages and comparison here in the hydraulic power steering system means what actually in the steering system particularly at a lower speeds the more effort of the driver is required to turn the vehicle and in order to assist that the fluid power advantage is taken the hydraulic the system advantage is taken to produce a less effort require a less effort to steer the vehicle and like this in at a lower loads and also at the higher loads how this the power steering works by using the hydraulic power we are going to discuss here here first we'll take the main components power steering pump pressure tubes rotary control hall fluid lines connect from that hall to the piston hydraulic piston pinion gear and rack and tie rod to connect to the wheels of the vehicle here power steering pump which will be pumps the fluid in order to supply at a higher pressure to the system and that pump is connected to the main shaft by the belt drive and which will be runs on the vehicle vehicle load and here this rotary control valve is connected to the steering wheel and whenever the steering wheel is rotated the rotary control valve changes the direction of the flow of the fluid and that change in the direction of the flow of the fluid will be changes the direction of the turning of the wheel and how that will be there if the fluid is supplied to the one end of this piston the piston will be move in this direction and the fluid from the other end that goes to the tank in the closed loop and if the piston is moving in this direction the rack and pinion the by that it will rotates and the wheel will be turn in this direction and if you turn this steering wheel in other direction the control valve will be supply the fluid to the other direction then the the piston will be moving in this direction due to the pressure at the other end then the turning of the wheel will be taking place in the other direction like this by operating the the steering wheel which will operates the rotary control valve we can turn the wheel with a less support as the pressurizer fluid we are going to supply in the system this is how the power steering uh, operates by the hydraulic fluid you can see here the animation of this and here the the steering wheel is connected to this rotary valve and the rotary valve the direction of the fluid we can see in the high pressure the fluid is flowing in this direction low pressure fluid will be flowing in this direction through this line and like this the turning will be taking place okay that turning how it will be there that we can see here the piston moves and later rack and pinion gear will be moved and turns the wheel of the vehicle and like that the power steering operates with a less effort the working we can see in detail hydraulic power steering systems use pressurized fluid to assist the driver in turning the wheels providing easier steering especially at low speeds through a closed loop system with a pump valves and a cylinder the closed loop system means the fluid will be returned to the sump again and the, with the pump valve and the cylinder we are going to use for the operation of the this power steering system how it works hydraulic pump how it works the system utilizes a hydraulic pump driven by the engine or a belt to pressurize the power steering fluid the power steering fluid will be pressurized by using hydraulic pump 
steering wheel input when the driver turns the steering wheel the input is transmitted to the rotary valve or rack and pinion gear set that whatever the input given by the driver in the form of steering wheel rotation it will be transmitted to the rotary valve and rack and pinion gear set rotary valve or rack and pinion this valve or gear set controls the flow of the pressurized fluid to the steering rack and which is connected to the wheels steering rack the pressurized fluid acts on the on a piston or a chamber within the steering rack generating the force needed to turn the wheels closed loop the system is a closed loop meaning the fluid is continuously circulated and returning to the reservoir after the being used to assist steering varying assistance the assistance required is at the different speed the variation is there that varying assistance it can provide the system provides the varying levels of assistance with more support at a lower speeds and less at higher speeds improving control and maneuverability benefits of this hydraulic fluid power system reduced steering effect especially at low speeds making parking and maneuvering easier improved steering feel hydraulic systems can provide a more natural and responsive steering feel allowing drivers to feel the road more clearly drawbacks can consume engine power the pump is driven by the engine which can slightly reduce fuel efficiency can be noisy some hydraulic systems can be prone to noisy especially when the steering fluid fluid is low can be more complex and expensive to repair compared to electric power steering systems this is somewhat more complex and expensive for the repair alternatives to hydraulic power steering system electro electric power steering eps eps system uses electric motors to provide steering assistance which can be more fuel efficient than hydraulic systems which are run on the battery and the battery power generated by the induction of the vehicle and that's why it will be more fuel efficient compared to that hydraulic power steering system electro hydraulic power steering in this one hybrid system that combines the benefits of both hydraulic and electric systems and th those benefits can be summarized and it is more efficient than even though electric power steering system or hydraulic power steering system and these systems i am going to discuss in the some other sessions thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment